Hello there, welcome back to another edition of Pimp My Filter and in this video we're going to be taking a look at something that is very off the wall. Now this thing is a Japanese filter and this was sent to me by somebody called Sia, S-I-Y-A, Sia, Sia. Uh, and they said they had no idea how it works. And after searching online for what seems like an eternity, I also have no idea how this works or how it's even meant to work. Everything's written in Japanese. It's produced by a company called Aqua Kaubau. Nothing really useful comes up online about them either. And this one is a real mystery. So I think the logical thing to do would be to take it out of the box, give you a good look at it from all angles, see if you can come up with any ideas, and then I'll put it in the aquarium behind me, plug it into the air source, because it is an air-driven filter, we'll see what happens, and then we might be able to make some sense of it. Okay, that's the box. As you can see, all of the information is in Japanese. And the layout of this thing is actually represented differently on the back than it is on the side. Because on the side, we've got some sort of media or something in here. And on the back, we haven't got that. So there you go. That, apparently, is an aquarium filter. It looks more like a turbine engine because it's got a little propeller up here that presumably is air driven. That is our air input. There's a little tube that goes underneath there, so presumably the rise in air bubbles will spin that propeller, which to me looks like an absolute fish killer if they happen to swim into the flow, but there we go. Halfway down, we've got like a pyramid shaped thing and it's got some media in there. We've got a strange mushroom shaped thing here where I think the water comes up the inside of. And then in the bottom of here we've got something that I think is meant to act as a ballast to keep this thing down, to keep it sturdy, but they apparently can't be taken out, judging by this. I think they're little ceramic beads, but I'm not sure. On the bottom we've got a removable plate. And on the bottom we've got a grill, which is obviously where the water's drawn in before it rises up through that mushroom thing and then possibly goes through the little bit of media. But if that's the case, why all this wasted space all the way around here? It just doesn't make sense. So as you know, I've seen enough filters in my 20 plus years in the aquatics trade to be able to generally say Water comes in here, it goes through here, this is meant to happen here, and exits here. In this case, I can't do it. So I'm gonna have to put this in the tank, attach an airline, and we'll just see what happens. That's interesting, water's coming out of that joint. I don't think it's meant to. Okay, we can see that the impeller at the top there is turning around. I'll just zoom in on that, give you a closer look. It's not actually turning around very fast though, so I cannot really see what the proposed function of that is. It doesn't seem to make any sense. As far as I can tell, water does indeed come in the bottom there. It travels up the middle of this mushroom shaped tube, and then it just seems to go straight through clay or ceramic media inside this pyramid shaped configuration here. Then it just seems to go straight out the top over the impeller which is driven by air and back out to the tank. So you've just got a very straight through movement here. I think the sensible thing to do at this point would be to break it down as far as I can into its 
parts, lay them out and then just throw it open to you guys to see what you would do with this. And hopefully that will give the owner of not only this one but ones like it some idea of what they could do. Because I can't really see that adding anything in here is going to make much of a difference. I mean you could put bio gravel in there but you're going to get so little in before it starts to fall down the middle of that tube that I don't think it would make any difference. It's a really strange filter. Everything else is sealed in so that ballast or ceramic media or whatever it is in the bottom is stuck. And as far as I can see there's no way for the water to actually get into there either. Which doesn't really make sense because that could have also been used as a filter media as well. That seems to be totally sealed in. So we've got the bottom plate, we've got the bit with the ballast on that sits on the bottom plate which has an inlet. Then we've got a little mushroom attachment that fits on the top of the tube where the water comes up. Then we've got a pyramid shaped or at least a, a cone shaped filter media compartment with slits in all the way around and also all the way around the top to allow water through it. And then we've got that head with that impeller which is driven by the air which sits on the top with a vent in the top to allow the bubbles out. Really this thing is, God, I think it's been designed by David Lynch or somebody you know it's like a psychedelic fever dream. <laughs> it just doesn't look practical at all. It certainly wasn't designed by a German I can tell you that much. Okay I'm gonna put this back together in close-up so you can see exactly how it fits together. And then I'm going to throw it open to you guys. Please help see her out so that they know, or at least they have some idea, of how to upgrade this particular item. I'll stop short of calling it a filter again because it's not really a filter. That is fiddly to get in and out. There you go. Okay guys, here's what I would do. So I would probably start with the bio gravel. I've filled up the water movement tube there because water can pass clean through there, no problem at all. And I've put enough in so that it's more or less level with the top of this mushroom. On top of there, I'm going to drop a bit of medium density sponge um, and I think I'll use it that way up so it catches a lot of muck. Hopefully some of the water coming up and hitting that um, pyramid shape thing will then go back down into, into here. It's going to be an extremely slow moving part though which may help with the nitrates, may develop anaerobic bacteria in here. Then I'm going to drop that back in and then I'm going to put the top back on. I would imagine eventually there should be quite a lot of muck build up in the foam here. I don't know. I think there's much easier ways and better ways to achieve a goal of filtering a tank. And one more thing I'm going to do is cut up one of my little mesh bags that I normally use for the bio gravel. Put that over the top of this instant sushi maker and cable tie it on so that the fish can't get into the impeller. Okay, now that isn't the prettiest on the top of there but it does stop any fish getting down into the impeller and it's certainly not going to impede any of the air coming out. This will have extremely slow flow in this particular bit so really to me that's going to function pretty much just like a deep sand bed or an anoxic filter. It's going to provide pretty much anaerobic conditions 
certainly in here, which should help with the nitrate. I don't know whether there's enough media in here, in the aerated part, to affect the ammonia and nitrite, but time will tell. So that's it. That's my take on this particular filter. Please give me your suggestions in the comment section. And if you're thinking of making a suggestion, please read other people's suggestions as well. You might want to add bits to that, take them away, analyze them, thrash it out amongst yourselves as to whether the suggestions are actually going to work or they're not. This one is a real mystery. And if you guys out there watching want anything that you've got featured in this particular series of videos, I'm sure it can't be any more obscure than this, so please get in touch. My contact details are in the video description and also in the pinned comment. So please share this video if you think anybody might benefit from seeing it, although I think the people that might benefit from seeing this one will be in the minority with this thing being so obscure, but by all means share it. Check out the links in the video description and pinned comment. You might find something useful there. Thanks for watching. See you next time.